bubbles, clowns and music in the Janine refugee camp, where two weeks ago the sounds of bombs and bullets filled the air. The children are excited to head to an arts therapy workshop with the local Freedom Theatre, entertaining people on the way. With brushes at the ready, they begin. We're here to release the energy inside us because of the Israeli occupation. When a child drew a house, he deliberately drew the window higher. When we asked him why, he replied he feared bullets entering the house. Other children in the camp who live under repeated aggression draw zigzags in dark colors. This girl also adds windows high up in the house. These paintings are part of a series of drama therapy workshops to tackle the fear and trauma children here are living through. The director tells me, although they're clearly having a lot of fun today, some are still too traumatized to speak. Some have messages to share after the Israeli assault on Janin earlier this month. After the invasion, there have been people in shock, panicked. With colors, we came to make them feel better through painting in which they can express what's inside them and we are also expressing what is inside us. Organizers say art can often expose a cry for help. We have staff that work in sociology, psychology and social services that visit families in the event of a raid. We hold group meetings to talk about feelings and how the children can express themselves through art. These drawings are studied and we look at cases where we need to intervene fast. For now, they're getting the help they need. The fear of another assault is not far away. And some are seizing the moment, enjoying being who they are, children. Laura Khan, Al Jazeera, Janine Refugee Camp in the occupied West Bank.